Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're going to talk a bit about guitar picks. Now you don't have to start your guitar journey by using a guitar pick. When I was learning left-handed, I found that the first couple of weeks I just wasn't into using a pick. I just found it, frankly, a little bit difficult to pick the right strings, and I was more, much more worried about getting my chords right. But using a pick is a really good idea, and particularly when we get into strumming patterns and playing songs, using a pick really can make things sound a little bit better. So I want to take you through the general idea of what picks are, how to hold them, all that sort of stuff. Now, for a beginner guitar player, I would recommend that you use the absolute thinnest pick that you can find. The one that I use is uh, made by Jim Dunlop. It's called USA Nylon 0.46 millimeters and it's like a piece of paper you can totally fold it in half it's really really super flexible very very easy to use it doesn't get tangled up in the strings you can hold it nice and tightly and it doesn't you know it, it's, got, it's got a lot of click in it which is actually kind of a nice thing especially if you're playing acoustic guitar but it's really forgiving and if you're a beginner guitar player i can't recommend strongly enough going to your local music store and getting the thinnest pick that they have as being the first pick that you use for this sort of stuff. They're a little bit less accurate when you're picking out one note at a time. So for that reason, while you're at the store getting your super thinnest pick, I would recommend that you get one or two other picks as well. Now, I also use this one, a Jim Dunlop uh, USA Nylon again, 0 0.60 millimeters, which is still quite flexible. You can't really fold it in half. Uh, it's still a very, very flexible pick. Uh, it's a nylon one, it's still got a little bit of click, but not as clicky as the white one. Uh, which are, the, the clickiness gives you a kind of a percussive effect while you play, which can be a really nice thing, particularly on acoustic guitar. Um, the good thing about having the slightly thicker pick is that it's a little easier to control, like when you're doing your chord practice, you strum, pick out the notes individually one at a time. It's a little easier to control the tip of the pick if you're gonna use a pick for that kind of thing. So the pick that I use most of the time, particularly on acoustic guitar, um, it's definitely the thickest pick I would recommend for beginners, is this orange Tortex kind of pick. Uh, this is a Justin Guitar branded one, but there's lots of different varieties of this type of material around. It's, it's kind of flexible. You can bend it a little bit, but it's not like the others. It's, it's a lot stiffer than the other two picks that I've talked about. This one's really good for picking out individual notes if I'm doing the chord practice, chord, you know, or any sort of riffs or anything like that. Using a thicker pick is definitely a good idea, but as a beginner guitar player, I think you would find this pick very, very difficult for strumming. Okay, for learning to strum, you definitely want to be going for your as thin a pick as you can possibly find. When I'm playing for real, most of the time I'm using this, this called a blue chip pick, so ridiculously expensive uh, thing. And these don't move at all. Like there's absolutely no flexibility in this pick whatsoever. It's, it's you know, absolutely solid. When I'm playing with this, I can, I can hold it really, really lightly. I really like the sound of it. Um, it's a fantastic pick. It's also like $40 for a guitar pick, which would be crazy for a beginner. Um, when you get a really expensive pick, you don't lose them as much as one thing that I've, I've found. But you're much, much better off as a beginner starting just with these, you know, your regular super, super thin picks. But get a few, okay? Try out different materials because everybody likes a different pick. I would recommend that you go really super thin as a beginner, but what color and what brand and what material is something that you can make a personal choice with. I do recommend buying a bunch at the store. They're not very expensive. So go buy 10 different really thin picks and experiment a little bit and see which ones you like the feel of the most. One thing that is really important is how you hold the pick. And ideally, you want the pick kind of coming out of the side of your thumb, okay? So you don't want to be holding it like this, where it's coming out of the end of your thumb, you want it out of the side of your thumb. And this is really important when it comes to strumming. So ideally it wants to sit kind of like it's coming out of your first finger, but out of the side of your thumb. So you can see there, it's the, the first finger is positioned kind of pointing straight down. But when we look around this side, it's coming out of the side of your thumb. Now, you might find as you progress as a guitar player that you want a bit less coming out of the side of the thumb, but as a beginner, you probably want like a good centimeter coming out. It doesn't really matter at this stage how much is coming out of the side of your thumb, but I would give it probably that amount. It'll be the same even if you're using these other bigger picks or thicker picks. It should be coming out of the side of your thumb like that. It's still pointing. So if you get with your first finger, put the pick on your first finger and then wrap your thumb around, you can see the first finger is just pointing down almost at the end of the pick, but it's still coming out of the side of your thumb. 
It is perfectly okay to decide not to use a guitar pick for the first part of your beginner journey. However, learning to strum with a pick is a lot easier than learning to strum with your fingers. Now, it doesn't work for everyone. There are some fantastic guitar players that don't use a guitar pick at all. Mark Knopfler, Jeff Beck, loads of others. But in the early stages, I'd recommend that you have a go at learning with a guitar pick and learning to strum. You can always decide to ditch it later. But definitely for the beginner stages, when you start strumming a lot, maybe not the first lesson, maybe not the second, but definitely by the third lesson, I would recommend that you're exploring using a pick when you play.